Hi, this is Sam Cooley, your mortgage yogi. Um, happy week after Veterans Day. I just thought it would be kind of appropriate to discuss uh, VA loans and some things that happen with VA loans that are unique um, and that are also dispellers of the myths that come along with VA loans and VA offers for homes for sale. Uh, the first one I wanted to talk about was just the appraisals. So I'll break this down into a couple different series. Um, but the first is VA appraisals are much harder um, than an FHA loan appraisal or a conforming loan appraisal. This is actually not true. There are standard standards called health and safety um, or minimum property requirements, uh, which are set forth by the FHA, by the Federal Housing Authority. And those standards are what are followed for VA mortgages, FHA loans, and in some instances on conforming loans. So there are certain things that if the house is inhabitable, you're not going to get financing for any type of mortgage. Um, but VA loans are not more stringent than an FHA loan when it comes to minimum property standards. So just wanted to spell that. If there's ever a time when there's things in question, please, by all means, reach out to me. Um, but pretty much VA, FHA, all the same as far as like chipping paint. You've got to have running water. You've got to have a heat source, um, a cooling source, and certain parts of the United States, things like that. But those are also things that can Conforming loans are going to look at too. Um, you know, they want people who are buying homes to live in to be able to live in them. Um, so minimum property standards pretty much across the board are going to be the same for any government back loan, your FHA or your VA. Um, another thing is people say, oh, VA appraisals come in lower. Well, that's actually not true. Um, and you have more ways to dispute a low appraisal when it comes to a VA loan. The first one is the Tidewide Water Rule. So if an appraiser, before he goes out to a property, believes that he is having problems meeting uh, the sales price, he will call not only the listing agent, but the buyer's agent, and also give them time to provide him with comps and reasons why the value is what it is. Um, and if he still can't make the value, he finishes the report and it comes in low, the VA has just introduced a new rebuttal process. This is actually totally awesome. I just had it happen with an appraisal that came in $45,000 lower um, in working with the buyer's agent, the listing agent, and my veteran buyer. We were able to provide the veteran buyer with comps and reasons why the property was worth the sales price, not what the appraised value was. Um, and the reason I mentioned the VA buyer is because the veteran has to write a letter to the VA explaining why he believed that the property he was buying was worth what he was paying for it and why the appraiser was incorrect. Um, in this instance, um, we had two real estate agents that were local to a small rural area in Colorado. Um, they sold lots of real estate between the two of them. I think they had sold 80 properties within the past year, whereas the appraiser was from over an hour away in a different area of Colorado. So he was not an expert in the area as the real estate agents were. With the veteran um, providing comps and also stats on both the realtors and the reasons why they were experts, we actually were able to get the VA to um, accept the sales price as the value and they changed the appraisal value to meet our sales price. So um, next time you get an offer coming through and it's for a VA buyer, know that the appraisal isn't really an issue. Um, you actually have more um, ability to communicate with the appraiser, provide justification for the value if it still comes in low. The VA is open to um, rebutting that and having one of their staff appraisers review everything and you could actually get the value changed. 
super odd, didn't believe that would happen. Um, I very rarely have appraisals thrown out or values changed uh, when they come in low. So this is a plus for a VA loan versus a conforming loan or an FHA loan when you're dealing with a um, appraisal management system or a company that, um, you know, stands behind those appraisers. So uh, next time you get that VA offer, think twice before saying poo-poo to it. Um, if you have any other questions about VA mortgages or appraisals or any other mortgage product, please reach out to me. Again, Sam Cooley, your mortgage yogi broker for Mindful Money. Thanks so much and have a great day.